become more interested in these um, global global mysticism, mystic practices, the practices mm. of sorts like the ancient Druids that uh, lived in Ireland. Because I have this theory that um, I have this theory that it, it looks like all these practices kind of align, which mm. is a little bit uh, spooky. It's like not something that can be coincidental, um, at least in other parts of the world. And I've been interested in that. And by the way, I forgot to tell you about this Atlantis thing. Is that actually people are hypothesizing now that Atlantis was in um, north, uh, what, like north, uh, western Africa? There's quite yes. a lot of evidence. The that. the, the recat structure in in Mauritania. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I am very aware of these uh, these uh, theories. I, I love I love reading about that stuff. All right, good, because the audience loves this stuff, too. Do you have anything, anything uh, do you want to say about your beliefs about Atlantis and other sorts of uh, uh, um, mythical? Yeah, I mean, I'm not stuff? sold on that theory, but I, I'm aware of it. I think it's very interesting. Um, and I wish that the political situation in that part of the world allowed for more archaeological uh, exploration. But... Um, it seems like uh, Mauritania does not quite allow for uh, the archaeologists to get in there and and study the recat structure as much as they would like. Um, but yeah, I mean, you look at the satellite photos of that area, it, it and compare it to the writings of uh, I believe it was Plato who was the, the one who wrote about um, yeah Plato the existence of Atlantis. And uh, it's intriguing. I'll, I'll say that much. I, I'm not, I'm not an archaeologist. I'm not a historian. I'm just a guy who's interested in this stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, it's fun to think about. It might, it might amount to nothing, but uh, it's fun to imagine that Atlantis was uh, was in North Africa during the time period when the Sahara was uh, green and lush. Um, so I've gone down this rabbit hole a little bit myself, uh, mm -hmm. with some kind of practical reason to be precise, um, the subject of Atlantis, I didn't dig too deeply in, but it was more like to verify something that another spiritual person was saying, because like once a spiritual person says something that doesn't make any sense, now I have to question everything else they say. Yeah. Um, I'm actually quite critical of people that say spiritual things, um, even though I may not appear that way. Um, it seemed like a lot of the evidence lined up pretty well with it existing. I just, um, it was a, it was a subject, it was one that's a lot more, it was one of these ancient civilizations that was a lot more questionable that I really questioned, uh, called Lemuria. If you've ever heard of that? Uh, it sounds familiar, but I can't remember where they were supposed to be located. Well, allegedly, you know, there's the, they're now, they have now reloaded, relocated to this weird mountain called Mount Shasta, which is in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And I understood that you could actually uh, communicate with them. And I was like, okay, well, prove it. Uh, yeah, I would like to see if that's real or not. Um, and basically, I don't know how much these facts are lining up. Uh, let's put it that way. But I will say that Mount Shasta is a really weird place. Mm -hmm. And Atlantis actually does seem, there's quite some evidence of ancient civilizations existing in some kind of way. I just, it's really hard to fact check all these things. Uh, Atlantis actually does seem like it has quite a bit of evidence, uh, if particularly it's there um, mm -hmm. in Northern yeah. Africa. There's also strange things like apparently alongside the coast of the US, there's like a lot of like evidence, or at least there was a lot of evidence of um, ancient advanced civilizations that no one knew anything about, which is very strange. Um, I read this in a pretty random book. I wasn't even trying to find it. Yeah, I mean, I think people are starting to find out that uh, our ancestors were quite a bit more advanced than we believed they were. Um, and I think it's, I don't know how much you've seen of this, like, new... Uh, radar technology that they're using to uh like penetrate like you send drones up with this new radar technology and it penetrates the canopies of forests and they're finding like these enormous cities that were just kind of eaten by the forests or the jungles in 
all really? over the world, but really a, a lot of it um, is being uncovered in like Central America and uh, mm. the We're northern part America. of South America, like all over, like uh, you know, Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua. Guatemala. Yeah, all these places that they're all right, all right. they're using this new technology to kind of uh, look beneath the trees and the hills to uncover old civilizations that were swallowed, you know, after they died out. And we're finding that there was a lot more, a uh, lot more people doing uh, some pretty heavy building that we didn't know about. Steve, I have news for you. Uh, that you may not have known, but in about uh, a week or so, mm -hmm. I'm going to on a mystic quest to Guatemala. Nice. So Enjoy. if you give me information about where these places might be, that won't result in my legs being cut up by some bear trap or something, please. Uh, I will probably, I, I might just be able to check out these, these mystic ruins. I mean, that yeah, sounds like know. something, just... a job for a jungle man. Just just Google Guatemala archaeology, and I'm sure you'll get some uh, new results on things that they're uncovering out there in the jungles. Ooh, shit. Well, I better live up to my name. I gotta go to yeah. the jungle. Yeah, you gotta be the jungle man. Well, yeah, I'm basically becoming the jungle man, in case you didn't notice, by the way. It's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Uh, but now I'm all excited because of all this mystic stuff. Maybe I can, like, verify something. Maybe I could see some crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Guatemala seems like. Uh, I mean, like, what if like something happens? Um, yeah, I'm I'm into it. Yeah, maybe um, you'll you'll make the archaeological archaeological find of the century. Imagine that. <laughs> I gotta get my Indiana Jones outfit. Oh, I, that's the most obvious thing. Yeah. You gotta get the, gotta get the hat. <laughs> Um, uh, you gave me an idea, actually. You gave me an idea. Oh, my God. I, all right, all right. Um, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Uh, there's a very real chance this happens, by the way. I'm not even kidding. No, I, I hope it does. I love, I love when you get dressed up. All right, all right. Well, I'm about to do it again. <laughs>